OpenAI is lying to us about ChatGPT+, specifically the GPT-4 message cap, and I'm gonna prove it in this video. Now what's crazy is that nobody is talking about it. This is the standard screenshot you get when you reach the message cap. You've reached the current usage cap for GPT-4, you can continue with the default model, which is GPT-3.5, or try again after whatever time, right? However, this is what OpenAI tells you. Basically, GPT-4 is 40 messages every three hours. Now to prove it, I'm here in ChatGPT, I'm gonna refresh, and as you can see in the top left, GPT-4, this is the exact message. Limit 40 messages per free hour. Now, in order to get access to GPT-4, you have to pay for ChatGPT+, which is 20 bucks a month with tax, it's like 24. And in fact, I'm paying for two accounts just because of this limit. That's like the main benefit you get, access to better model GPT-4. When you're working on something, it's not like really viable to just use the default model. It's way worse, as you can see, GPT-4 destroys it on everything. A few days ago, I did this community poll on my channel. How often do you reach the GPT-4 message limit? By the way, here are the results if you're curious. But two comments stood out to me. This one, I have to wait two hours and continue my work. For now, I'm just killing time on YouTube. Like, people who are actively using it for work are hitting the limits. In perplexity, I've never hit the limit. There's like 500 messages a day, I think. We want to try it, it's linked in the description. But the main comment is this one. This comment is really what set out this investigation. Flying Birds 544. I am not joking when I say I hit the raid limit sometimes well below 40 messages. Two days ago, I only wrote like 20 messages and I bumped into the raid limit with no prior interaction with GPT-4 for a couple of hours. Now, when I read this, it sounded suspicious, but I didn't think much of it because it just one comment but i remembered this right so then yesterday this was my reaction when i hit the message cap so let's go into premiere and let me show you exactly the moment it happened really huh gbd4 message cap is this actually true did we actually use 40 messages so as you can see i did not believe it at all i was confused to say the least what i did is i went back and looked at all the different chats for that day and counted the messages one two so in this chat there's two messages so as you can see this is important i had three different chats for that day Forget three hours, for that entire day. So, three, okay, so this chat only has one message, right? Right now, if we do the two short chats, we're at three messages total. You're telling me, like, and now this is the big, long chat. Four, so I start counting from four, because, you know, we already have three. By the way, every time you see yellow, that's my prompt, so that's an easy way to see it. You can double check it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, bro, it's not even, it should be 40. As you can see, I was not happy to say the least because I was working on a multi-hour coding project and I hit the message cap after 21 messages, OpenAI promises 40 per three hours and that's what you're paying for. 24 bucks a month in my case 48 because i have two different accounts because of the message cap being so low now what i realized is that when you click learn more it should be 40 learn more it takes you to this suspicious and but interesting form right so i have it right here like i've never seen this before right so i've only discovered this yesterday literally thanks for your interest in gpt4 to give every plus user a chance to try the model we're currently dynamically adjusting usage caps for gpt4 as we learn more about demand and system performance. What's crazy is that this used to actually be 50. So they lowered it, they made the product worse. A few months ago, it was 50. Now you might say like 10 isn't that big of a change, but it is that big of a change. And back then it actually was 50. So not only did they lower it from 50 to 40, it's not actually 40, it's actually like around 20. As you can see, I'm not the only person experiences. He also hit it around 20 messages. So they're advertising 40 and it's actually like half of that. Now, we're currently dynamically adjusting message cards for GPT-4. What does that even mean? Like, does every person get a different uh, amount? Like, how do you know how many you have? Like, this is in, like actually crazy. If you want to do a bigger project, if you want to like start working on something, you have no clue. And for the rest of yesterday's video, I literally was like scared to you know, ask GPT like stupid questions because I didn't want to hit the message cap after I switched to a second account. So I had to use both of my accounts for this, not just the recording one. And like, I was way more passive, which is terrible. You know, like if you want to use GPT for learning, you shouldn't be scared to use prompts. So this is like, I don't know, in some, like in some cases, this might be illegal, just false advertising saying that you get 40 and you get like around 20. Now let's look, let's read the rest of this prompt, uh, this form, right? As we learn more about demand and system performance, 
We're also actively exploring ways for ChatGPT Plus subscribers to use GPT-4 in a less constrained manner. Now, what does this mean, right? We're actively exploring ways for ChatGPT Plus subscribers to use GPT-4 in a less constrained manner. Well, for one, um, if we go into ChatGPT, as you can see at the bottom, oh wait, let me fix it so you can see it. Um, at the bottom is this, add team workspace. So recently they introduced an even more expensive plan, which, you know, this one is 20 a month and this one is 25 per month. But wait, here's the catch. Here's the asterisk. Price built annually, minimum two users. So <laughs> minimum two users means it's 50 per month and built annually means times 12. So it's $600, right? So if you want to get this team a better plan with higher message caps, again, they do not tell you how much higher, they just say higher. <laughs> it might just be the 40 one, you know, it, just, it might just be the 40, which is advertised here, but hey. So not only do you have to spend at least $600 to get this plan, you also don't even know how much you're getting. Like if you click learn more, like let's see, right? Learn more. And I do control F message cap, nothing. Control F GPT-4. We have two mentions of GPT-4. Let's find them. Mm -hmm. GPT-4 right here. Uh, no mention of the message cap. Let's go for the second mention. And it's at the bottom uh, for footer of the website. So even in the learn more, right? Even when you click learn more, you don't know how many messages you would get with this more expensive plan. And again, you would have to spend $600 to get this plan. Not just 20 a month, 600. So this is just crazy. This is just crazy, bro. <clears throat> now, this might be in the form of a new subscription level. Again, this is exactly what they added. Maybe they will just add an even more one or something else. Please fill out this form, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't even care. But like on perplexity, right? Perplexity.ai. Can't type. On perplexity, the message cap is like 500. Well, actually, see, maybe they changed it. So try pro, learn more. Oh, wait, let's go perplexity pricing. So to prove that OpenAI is not like super, this is the API. <coughs> right. Okay, so 300. Okay, so I think it was 500. It doesn't matter. 300 a day. That's like, that's insane compared to OpenAI's it for even compared to the 40, but in reality, we know it's like 21. We can see that other AI tools are offering way more. So it's not like OpenAI doesn't have the means to make it 100 or 200. I mean, sure, there has to be some sort of a cap so people don't abuse it. But like perplexity is one of the fastest growing AI tools in the world. You know, they recently were valued like half a billion dollars. Like, let me see perplexity. Um, I don't know what series it was investment raises okay series b yeah so five the valuation is like 520 million right after 73 million dollar investment from jeff bezos nvidia and other people so this is like one of the biggest fastest growing ai startups right now with half a billion dollar valuation and they have a 300 daily message cap and they offer gpt4 claude gemini blah 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 like OpenAI is make, like they, using the fact that they have literally monopoly on, you know, AI right now, on chatbots, everybody's using ChatGPT. So they're using that to make their product worse than it has to be. If, you know, if BART was just as good or if Llama, an open source version of AI, was just as good, then they would actually make, be forced to make their product better. And, you know, not just give us 40 messages, which in reality, as we found out by counting every single message, it's actually 21. So man, like this, when I found it out, found this out, this pissed me off. And I just felt like we, you all have to know about this on a brighter note. If you want to join the community, it's going to be free for the next 24 hours. If you want to be part of the people building the future link in the description.